Crimea will be liberated in a few weeks. Military expert, Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Petra Chernik, said that it is much easier to liberate the temporarily occupied Crimea. Long-range missiles and good aviation are needed to deoccupy the peninsula. In an interview with TSN, the expert noted that in order to liberate Crimea, it is necessary to destroy the Crimean bridge and take it under fire control so that the invaders cannot rebuild the crossing. And with the help of high quality aviation, those same F-16s, they can close the sky over the Crimea as well as the Black Sea, he explained. The expert noted that the F-16s can carry two MGM-158 missiles. They can strike at a distance of 360 to 910 kilometers. The entire Crimean Peninsula from north to south is a little more than 250 kilometers from east to west, a little more than 360 kilometers. A missile with a range of strikes of 910 kilometers takes aim at absolutely all military bases and absolutely all potential watercraft that cross the Sea of Azov and the Kirsch, the Strait, will try to deliver some supplies there, Chernik added. According to the Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, after a few weeks of such a siege, Crimea falls at its feet like a rotten pear. The occupiers in Crimea are actively preparing for a counter-offensive by the Ukrainian military. On the beaches of the temporarily occupied peninsula, began to install signs, stop, mines. Also, there appeared the so-called dragon's teeth. The Russians are in no hurry to rest in the occupied Crimea. Because of this, the most popular hotels in the peninsula offer huge discounts or installment payments.